Hello everyone, this is Daniel with fitnessblender.com. Today we're going to be doing a HIIT routine and a little bit of core work. It's going to last a little over 30 minutes total and you're not going to need anything for this whatsoever. So no equipment whatsoever, this is all body weight driven. So it has your warm up and your cool down included also, so you're not going to need to worry about getting those in on your own. So with that said, let's go ahead and start in with our warm up. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get this warm up started. We're doing each one of these for 30 seconds apiece and just straight down through the line. All right, let me get my timer going. All right, we're gonna be starting off with just a slow butt kick here and an arm cross. So basically, just bringing your heel up towards your butt as close as you can so you get a nice squeeze on that hamstring. So at the same time, you're just bringing your arms left to right. Squeeze that heel up to your butt and keep those arms nice and high. So you're gonna be warming up that chest and back as well as those shoulders just a little bit. Get a good squeeze on that heel, trying to pull it up as tight as you can, as long as it's comfortable on those knees. So just keep it moving. Moving to a high knee march next, so just draw that knee up really nice and high. We're gonna bring your arms up at the same time. So try to get a good stretch pulling those arms back behind you as well as pulling that knee up nice and high. Just keep it going. Nice deep breath. Try to force yourself to get as much range of motion as you can as you become more comfortable with that motion. All right, we're doing a standing cross crunch. So uh, hands behind your head. Pull one knee up, crunch down towards that knee. Same thing on the other side. So you're trying to get a rotation and a pull forward down towards that knee. If you can touch your elbow to knee, by all means do so. If you can get past it, do that as well. It's just what feels most comfortable to you. So if you're still pretty cold, you haven't done a whole lot of physical activity today so far, you might need a little bit more of a warm up. All right, we're doing it. torso circles next. So feet nice and wide just focusing on that torso. So bend over forward, keep those hips straight up and down, roll around, pause the bottom, and then back around the opposite direction. Remember, trying to keep those hips stationary. We're just going around your torso, around that waist. And now we're gonna lock in your shoulders to your hips and we're doing torso, or excuse me, uh, toe touch circles. So down one leg, across and up. Short little pause in the back and back down again. Just alternate back and forth. Go into a boxer shuffle, just come up onto those toes. Starting to move a little bit more energetically here. Keep those lungs open and warm those ankles just a little bit. So you want to move your arms around a little bit with it, by all means do so. Otherwise, it's just starting to warm up those feet. All right, next one is going to be an up and out hop. So staying nice in the center. One foot at a time comes up and over. Start speeding it up as you can. Staying up on that, the ball of your foot, up on that toe. Keep those lungs open. So think of like trying to step over something with that foot. Get that knee nice and high. All right, fly jacks are next, so hands coming in and out. So start with them together, with your feet together, and then bring those arms apart as those feet come apart. Again, start at a nice slow pace. Speed up as you can, as you feel comfortable. Just keep those lungs open. squat jacks excuse me just a regular squat first so just nice and slow squat down hips 
just about hip width or shoulder width apart. Slight turnout in your toe. Keep that back nice and flat. As you squat down, weight evenly dispersed between your heel and your toe. The angle on your shin and the angle on your upper body should be about the same. Just low down as is comfortable. All right, we're gonna do a lateral jump next. So just start nice and small. Get used to that motion. And then as you start getting used to it, as you get more comfortable, start getting wider and staying lower. those lungs open and let it relax. All right, that is the end of our warm up, but nowhere near the end of our workout. So let's come back in just a second to start in to our hit routine. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get ready for our hit section. We're gonna be doing two different groups. We're starting off with our first one, six exercises. We're gonna run through twice, just straight down the line. So no, no different patterns, just straight down the line. Uh, then we'll do it again. We're doing 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest to get ready for the next exercise. So let me get my timer started here and let's get started. Our first exercise is going to be just traditional butt kickers. So basically what we did for a warm up, but faster. So start out slow if you need to, and then speed it up as you can, nice and quick, getting that heel to that butt. Just keep those lungs open. And let it relax doing static runners. We're gonna start with our left leg uh, out in front first. Right leg is the one gonna be doing all the work. So starting kind of a lunge position, and then you draw that right knee up. As your right knee comes up, your left hand comes up. Then just barely top that toe back down, pull it right back up again, staying in a little bit of a lunge with that front leg, with that left leg. Let it relax, we're doing the same thing on the opposite side. So right leg forward, left leg back, a little bit of a lunge forward on that, on that uh, right knee. And pull that left knee forward as that right arm comes forward. Whoop, <laughs> losing my balance here a little bit. Nice and quick, barely let that toe tap, then pull it right back up. Relax. All right, jumping lunges are next. So go ahead and get down in a lunge position if you want to. Straight down, hop, and straight over the other side, hop back. If you can't do a full jump, feel free to just alternate back and forth. Otherwise, if you can, get that jumping motion in there. Try to keep even between your front and rear leg. You're gonna have a tendency to kind of push forward over that front leg, try not to. All right, plank walk down, so a little bit of a breather on this one. Down towards those toes, walk it out, full plank, and then back up. If you wanna throw a push up in there, feel free to. We're gonna be doing those a little bit later though, so don't overdo it. Just walk out, full plank, and right back up. Try to get one more in there. And let it relax. All right, power skips are our next one. And then we're gonna start the whole thing through again. <sighs> Draw one foot up. So just like you used to do as a kid, trying to skip. But the difference is you're trying to throw that knee and hand up as hard as you can to get nice and high up off the ground. All right, we're starting back over. Butt kickers first. Heel to butt, nice and quick. Barely let that foot tap. Keep those lungs open. Let it relax. Left foot forward, right foot back. We're starting off with 
the runners first. Right knee comes up, left arm comes up. Stay low on that front foot, on that front leg. All right, same thing on the opposite. Right foot forward, left foot back. Drive that left knee forward as that right arm comes up. Lungs open. Nice quick motion, staying low on that right leg. Let it relax. All right, jumping lunges next. Drop down in that lunge position. Straight down and alternate back and forth. Again, if that jump is a little too much for you, feel free to switch it to a alternating reverse lunge. But if you can, keep it quick. And let it relax. All right, plank walk downs are next. Keep those lungs open. Down to those toes, walk it out, back up. Try to begin, move as quickly as is comfortable for you. All right, last one, power skips. Deep breath. Drive that knee and hand up. Just try to get as much air as you can with this. And let it relax. All right, take a nice deep breath in. Quick break, grab a drink of water. We'll be right back to start the second group of HIT. See you in just a second. All right, everybody. We're starting into our second group of HIT. So this is gonna be six different exercises, so new exercises, but we're doing the same pattern. So we're gonna go straight through all six, start over, straight through all six, and then we're done. Or, well, done with a HIT, then we're gonna go to core. So let me get my timer started. We've got new exercises, like I said, and these are a little bit more difficult than group one. So get ready, we're starting off with high knees. So draw those knees up. Stay light on those toes. Try to get those knees at least to hip height. All right, let it relax. Whew, moving there a little bit. So we're going to be doing a traveling mountain climber, so go ahead and drop down. We're going to push up position, out, we're going to go off to the side, back to the center, off to the other side, back to the center. Keep it low. And let it relax, all right. Quick feet are next. We're gonna stay just in a little bit of a squat position. Drop down, nice and wide, nice and close. Try to actually get those feet up off the ground while staying nice and low. Ooh, relax. All right, pop squats are next. All right. Down, oops, squat out wide. We'll pop in the center. Alright, we got plyo push-ups next. 
Drop down to a push-up position. So either off those knees or those toes. <clears throat> if you can, you can drop, get a little air underneath your hands. If not, you're just gonna come up and tap a shoulder, alternating back and forth. But like I said, if you can, get those hands off the ground. All right, back up. Ooh, star jumps are our last one before we start over. Big deep breath. Stay low, up and out. And let it relax. Turn back over with high knees. Start slow if you need to. Speed it up if you can. Get those knees high. If there's too much impact, feel free to go back to that just march in place. Just make sure you're getting a really nice high pull on that knee each time. All right, traveling mountain climbers, down to that push-up. Straight back, tap those feet off to the side, back to the center, off to the other side. Feet next. Whew. I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired. So keep them close, nice and quick, then out nice and wide. Close and wide. Whew. If you need to, stand up straight. Slow them down. But if you can, nice and quick, nice and low. All right. That was quick feet, we got pop squats next. Feet together, legs out, pop in the center. Apply our push ups next. Again, if you can, get those hands off the ground. Otherwise, down, tap that shoulder. Alternate each time. Back up, a last exercise for this hit. Doing star jumps. Close, and then out nice and wide. Ten seconds. Five. And let it relax. All right, go grab a drink of water, take a short little break. We'll be back to do core in just a second. All right, everybody. The only thing standing between us and our cool down is the core section. So we've got uh, five different exercises to go through. Each one of these we'll be doing for 45 seconds a piece with a 15 second break to get us ready for that next exercise. Kind of similar to the hit, we're gonna go through all of these uh, one at a time and then we're gonna start back over, go through them again, and then we'll be done. So let me get my timer started here. All right. We are going to be doing a jackknife crunch first. So we're gonna lay flat on your back 
legs out, hands above your head. Press that lower back into the ground, arms and legs come up, crunch up towards those toes, back down, try to hover them, don't let them touch, and right back up again. <clears throat> Keep those lungs open, don't hold your breath, you're gonna have a tendency to wanna do that, especially as you start getting towards the, that full extension but try to keep those lungs open. Control everything constantly and that core will get that much stronger. Nice slow controlled motion. We're not trying to go fast here. We're trying to get a full contraction through the entire range of motion. Just keep it going. All right, let it relax. We're rolling over onto our stomach. For the next one, we're going to be doing a back bow cross. So hands out in front of that face. We're going to do a back bow, arch that back up, but turn each time. So all alternating sides. So it's up with a little bit of a twist. The same thing on the other side. We'll lift those legs simultaneously for a little harder version, or you can leave those legs on the ground to make it just a little bit easier, not a ton. Keep those lungs open again. No holding your breath. If you want to get your breathing into it, it's going to be exhale on the way up, inhale as you come back down towards that mat. And let it relax. All right, let's lay on your right side. Knees pulled up nice and close. You need to prop that head up with your hand or just cross over top of your body. Doing a side crunch next. So, just gonna crunch that shoulder down towards that hip. I feel like you're trying to lift that hip up as well. So just crunch it down. Keep those lungs open. Nice, slow, controlled motion. Squeezing that shoulder down into that hip. You should feel it contract through that oblique on the top side. So try to keep those shoulders perpendicular to the ground, hips perpendicular to the ground. Don't lean forward or lean back. By keeping perfectly sideways, we're gonna more effectively focus on those obliques. All right, same thing on the other side. Let's flip around. Laying on that left side this time. Knees pulled up. Hand behind your head. Get out of the way and crunch it up. And again, feel like you're rocking those hips in towards that shoulder, kind of pulling them up off the ground. Whew. Try not to help with that left arm. You have a tendency to want to push down and help up. But try not to. Try to get all that range of motion focused just using that oblique. Main focus is pulling that shoulder down towards that hip. You're not trying to go up, you're trying to go down. So straight down your body, pulling it kind of a curve down into that hip. Just keep it going. And come up onto that tailbone. Heels down on the ground, feet shoulder width and hip width apart. Knees about a 90 degree angle or so. Back really nice and flat, arms straight out in front of your chest. Lean back as far as is comfortable, as far as you can control, and rotate left to right. Keep those lungs open. Keep that lower back pulled up underneath you. Don't start to slouch. We're trying to keep that back nice and flat. So all that work's coming from those abs. It's transverse abdominis, those obliques, to get that rotation. If you really wanna make this difficult for yourself, you can always lift those feet up off the ground or hold a dumbbell in your hands. Makes it a lot more hard, a lot more difficult, I should say. Whew, excuse me. Okay, so we're going to go back to that jackknife crunch. You're going to lay down flat on that back. 
arms and legs out, lower back flat against the mat, and lift them up. Everything's staying nice and straight. If a full version is too difficult for you, feel free to bend those knees. Just make it a little bit easier with that leverage. Otherwise, keep that full extension. Those lungs open. Almost done. And let that relax. All right. Back bow crossover. Sit back onto your stomach. Hands out wide, or sorry, elbows out wide, hands in front of your face. And lift up and rotate. Back down. Up and rotate. Make sure you're hovering just a little bit off the ground. You're not actually touching. Again, to make it a little bit harder, you can lift those legs at the same time. So you're trying to come up as high as you can with getting a nice rotation through those shoulders. Remember, lungs open, no holding your breath. If you need to get that timing down, it's exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. All right, roll over onto that right side. Left hand back behind your head. Right arm kind of crossed in front, just trying not to use it to push down into the ground. Crunch it up. Lift those hips up as well. Keep those lungs open. No holding your breath. Get a tight squeeze, shoulder down into hip. Just focus on that form. Slow and controlled. Same speed on the way up as the way down. Same thing on the other side, so switch sides. So left or right hand behind your head this time, left arm wrapped around your chest, keep it out of the way. Crunch it up, shoulder down to that hip. Again, feel like you're trying to pull those hips up towards that shoulder as well. Lungs open. Nice controlled motion, squeezing down towards that hip. Same pace on the way down as the way back. Got one left, we're doing a Russian twist. That's our last one before we do our cool down. All right, back flat, arms in front, rotating left to right. Keep that lower back pulled up underneath you the entire time. If you start feeling it dip out, just come up a little higher to make it a little bit easier for that core to hold the position. But stay back as far as you possibly can the entire time. As far as you can control, get a good rotation left to right. Ten seconds left. Let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into our cool down. So come back up onto those feet. 
if you want, grab a drink, a drink of water real quick. We're going to be starting off with just a regular toe touch. So feet just about shoulder width apart, nothing fancy. You're going to start with the flat back, tip straight forward until you feel those hamstrings tighten up on you a little bit. Just going to hold it there for just a second. Knees nice and straight, keeping them locked out. And round that back, stretch it down, try to reach those toes if you can. Legs straight. that one relax and stand back up we're doing a quad stretch on each side so let's start with our left first you're going to pull that left leg up grabbing with your left hand squeeze that heel Whoop. try to keep hold your balance if you can uh, squeeze that heel to your butt pull that knee back keep that chest straight up and down if you need to grab a hold of a piece of furniture or lean up against a wall but try to use it as little as possible So pull that knee back, you should feel it to the front of that quadricep, front of that thigh. Keep that balance <laughs> and let it relax. We'll do the same thing over on the other side. So heel to butt, standing up and down, straight up and down, nice and straight and tall. Heel to uh, pull in as tight as you can, as tight as you can, as comfortable on that knee and pull that leg back. Keeping everything straight up and down. And let that one relax. All right, we'll do an inside thigh stretch next. Just get those feet out really nice and wide apart. You're going to drop your left hip down towards the ground. You should feel it jump into that hip just a little bit. If you're not quite feeling it, try to push that hip down a little bit more. I even bend that knee on the opposite side just a little bit, but you don't really need to at all. As long as you get that hip tilt, you should feel that stretch to the inside of that thigh. Just gonna hold it here, let that inside thigh stretch out. Same thing on the other side. So drop that hip down towards the ground. Should feel it jump into that inside thigh. Just lean over towards that straight leg. Just keep those lungs open. Just try to let it relax. Nice, full, deep breaths. All right, we're going to go ahead and sit down on the ground. One leg out in front. I'm going to start with our left leg out in front, right leg over top. We're going to turn towards your right leg. So twist that torso just as far as it's comfortable. You might feel this through your back. You might feel it through your abdomen, your uh, obliques, the size of your, your rib cage. You could feel it in a lot of different places. So just keep twisting. Keep that chest straight up and down. Try not to round those shoulders forward. You're trying to keep that back flat. Just rotating around that torso. Same thing on the other side, so you're going to switch out, right leg out, left leg over top, rotate towards that right leg, or excuse me, towards that left leg, push that uh, right elbow into that left knee if you need a little extra help, a little extra stretch, but mainly trying to use your muscles through your core to actually get that turn, that rotation. Keep those lungs open, back straight up and down, remember try not to round that back, lean forward at all. And let that relax. Right, we'll do a butterfly stretch. We'll bring those feet in nice and close. Whew. Use the muscles to the outside of those thighs to pull those legs down towards the ground. Should feel it from probably starting about mid thigh, maybe even all the way out to your knee, but primarily just inside of your groin area. Just right through here and through here. The more you pull those legs down. Let it relax. Nice, full, deep breaths. Just have two more exercises to go. Or two more stretches. 
And with that relax, we're going to lay out on our back. One of my favorite, the deep glute stretch. Cross your right leg over top of your left, so your right ankle is on top of your left knee. Grab behind that thigh, pull it in as close as is comfortable. You should immediately feel it kind of through that glute down inside of that hip joint even. If you have issues with sciatica, this is a great exercise to help release that tension. It gets right into that piriformis muscle. Just lay right here, let it relax. Kind of constantly pulling that leg in just a little bit closer as that leg starts to loosen up. So as that tension starts to decrease, as you start feeling that stretch less, just pull in a little bit more to keep that stretch consistent. It doesn't need to hurt. You're not trying to make it hurt. You just want to feel a little bit of a stretch consistently. All right, same thing on the other side. So swap, uh, swip, swap which leg is on top. We'll get it out there eventually. So left leg, uh, left ankle on top of your right knee. Grab behind your thigh, not in front of your shin. You don't want to compress that knee. And pull in as close as is comfortable for you. Again, you should feel it through that uh, glute on that left leg into that hip socket on that left leg. Just slowly pulling it in more and more as it starts to loosen up. And let it relax. Whew. All right, guys. That was our last stretch, which means this workout is complete. I hope you liked this workout. I know I did. I'm nice and sweaty. Hope you got a good workout in too. So I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to go over to workout uh, <laughs> to fitnessblender.com and check us out. Look through all of our uh, inventory over there for articles, uh, recipes, and workout videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.